what a week for you. Oh. I mean, picking up the Player of the Month award for uh, Windsor Park to start the week, and now they come out here and score a hat trick. I'm sure yeah. you're proud now. I am, you know, it's, it's moments like that there you have to cherish, you know. Uh, again, picking up the, the reward. Um, it's always good getting recognised for, for what you do in the pitch, mm -hmm. but again, if it wasn't for the teammates helping me through it, then I wouldn't be able to get there. But again, obviously, uh, getting the hat trick today was the ice on the cake, if you, yeah. if you say, for a celebration. It was a difficult start this season, wasn't it? Was. The fry for straight and the nigh were, were scoring, and now you're, you're banging them, yeah. them in for fun. Yes, yeah, so, well, you, you go through wee patches where sometimes it doesn't go, go your way, but at this yeah. moment in time, it just feels like everything I'm hitting is flying in. Yeah. So, long may I continue. I mean, you've done it at large. A couple of weeks back, yeah. And then today, I mean, what was going through your mind today after that second goal? Again, obviously, that when you score goals like that, there it gives you a wee bit of confidence to, to maybe yeah. hit another one. And I think the ball just sat lovely for me, so I thought, why not? And there you go, and ends up with Luke McKeever around that top corner. Very proud of you today. Your family was in the stand yeah. today. I mean, your dad was there, your, your little son was there. Uh, I mean, what a day for a score hat trick! I uh, know, uh, perfect, you know. Um, flip every time ever since uh, Rudy came along, he's just been my lucky charm. I asked him every Saturday if that I want to win, that I want to score, and it seems like a, he, he always uh, predicts the, the, the right outcome. Um, obviously, my dad tries to get down and watch me as much as he can, yeah. you know, and I'm sure to have him all the day. Yeah, I mean, obviously the game itself today, can I get your thoughts on yeah. it? Because it was difficult to play at patches? It was, uh, to be fair, weather, weather played a big part, you know, swirl and wind. It, it is hard for both teams, don't get me wrong. Um, it was a shaky start. Well, not, I wouldn't say shaky start. It was a tough start because of the, the conditions. But I think we, we got through it. Um, getting the first goal was very, very important. It meant that they had to come out and try and get the equaliser. Yeah. And lucky enough, we came in half-time, 1-0 up. And then started the second half very, very well. <laughs> Started very well, and again, I scored uh, probably one of the best goals I've ever scored in my career. But take nothing away from the rest of the boys, I probably get the, the headlines with the hat trick. But I tell you what, there was some tremendous um, um, performances today. Scotty McMillan just showing his experience at the back, bringing him back in. It's, it, it, it's a fantastic, fantastic addition to the team. Big Lucas was unplayable today. You know, you go through the whole team, every single one of us played our part today, and, yeah. and, and, and it was a massive three points. It's great to see, obviously, that was such a rough start at the start of the season. Yeah. Obviously, starting to click yeah, it's one of them things that um, sometimes at the start, new players, new surroundings, hard to get used to, you know. And uh, it, it, it was it was tough. Don't get, it was very very tough. But now things have happened, and, and we have to get on with. We've dealt with it very very well. Smicker knows this club more than anybody, um, and he's brought in, and he knows the players around him. He knows what it takes to get results at this, at this level of football, and we're all buying into it. And hopefully, it continues. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a oh, transformation. I mean, weeks passed. I mean, the heads were dropping when we're conceding goals. Now we're not conceding. Now yeah, we're playing exactly. Great football. It is uh, to be fair. Well, he sets up for uh, not to concede because if you don't concede, don't, you, you, you'll never be beat. You know, so um, th that's that's the first thing we deal with. And then we'll take everything as an astride, and we've got. Not just me, we've plenty of players that are capable of scoring goals. So if we're able to keep a clean sheet as a whole, then I'm sure we'll create the chances to put the ball in the back and head to get the three points, yeah, hopefully. Right. Finally, yeah. finally, before I let you go, we spoke to Specker earlier and he was yep. talking about the top six. Uh -huh. Could you see him maybe let it down the well, top nine for that? I don't see why not, you know. Um, at the end of the day, there's still a lot of football to be played. After today, there's six games, you know. There's 18 points still to be played for. So yeah. I, I, other results might have to go our way, but we just concentrate ourselves. And if we keep winning, we, we'll have to give our, our, ourselves the best possible chance.